Hello and welcome to this tutorial where we'll show you how to convert HL7 messages into XML files. To start with, I'm going to load up the free trial of HL7 soup so I can grab their sample HL7 files. And you can see here that there's 12 of them that are ready for me to import. And they are of varying types. What I'm going to convert them to is this XML file here. It's a very basic XML file. Um, just for it represents a patient and I've got the first name last name of the patient uh, their birthday uh, information about their address and so we've kept it nice and simple for the tutorial so all we have to do is create a new receiver in HL7 soup and we're just going to receive our TCP message this is the standard for HL7 uh, we could also bring it in from a directory scan but in this case I'm just going to pretty much take the default settings uh, I am going to call it receive hl7 i'm just going to take the default server the port is going to be 22222 uh, the message type will obviously be hl7 and these other settings i'm just going to take the default so first of all i just need a message in my message template which represents the general hl7 message i'm going to be receiving so all i'm going to do is right click here and say insert current message all that's doing is taking the HL7 message from the main screen of HL7 soup. So that's set up and ready to receive. Now we just need to tell it to send somewhere. So I just add a new activity to my workflow. Select a file writer. So we write it out to a file. And I'm going to rename this activity to write XML file. I'm going to give it a file name and path. And I'm going to ask it to write one record per file. And then I'm going to ask it to move the file to another directory after processing. When hr 7 soup copies the file to the new directory, it automatically makes sure that all the files have a unique file name. So it doesn't matter that I've made the XML file names all the same. I'm going to tell it it's going to write to an XML file. And now all I need is a template representing our message. I'm just going to copy the text from my existing XML message. And I'm going to paste it in. Great. So now it's going to write out the this XML message. All we've got to do is bind the values from that inbound HL7 message. And we're going to have to put them into this XML message. And we do that by using transformers. So I'm going to click here on my write XML file activity to view the transformers. And you'll see here it's automatically converted the two files into a tree view of each of them. So I can see my patient and all of its fields and my HL7 message and all of its fields. Those are also accessible if I click on the message, you can see them showing below. So the general goal of transformers is to take the values from the source and map them to values in the destination. Let me show you how that's done. So firstly, I'm going to find my HL7 message patient's first name. That's in the PID 5.2. And I drag that across to the first name of the XML file. And you can see here it's created a mapping between the two. It's generated XPath representing the destination's XML. And it has HL7 syntax representing the HL7 part. So I can do that for the other fields. I can drag the family name and map that to the last name. And the birthday. Drag that into from the date, time of birth. And my patient's address. And I've got the address line one, the address line two, city, and country. And that is all the mappings that I need. And so that's it. That's my entire workflow written. So I'm going to now save and close this and go back to the main screen of HL7 soup. And we'll now start receiving. And that's now sitting there waiting to receive those HL7 messages. And because I'm just going to send the messages that I have on screen, I'm just going to create a new sender from within HL7 soup. And I'm just going to take all the defaults. Uh, the only thing I'll really of note here is that it's already on the same port that I was already using. And I've told it to move next every second, actually. 
I'll change that and I'll tell it to move next rapidly so it processes faster. So I can save and close this. And so now I could either send individual messages one at a time, but instead I'm just going to press play and start sending them all through. Now because I had the very last message selected, it's going to ask me to jump back to the first message. So I'll say yes. And then they're all processed. And you can see all 12 have been processed very quickly. And so I can view those now in my temporary directory that I created. And you can see they've all been given a unique file name. And now I can load these files up inside Notepad++. Find the files. Select them all and open them up. And you'll see each of them has their own details. Uh, including the address and whatever was available in those HL7 messages directly into the XML. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget HL7 Soup has a free 30-day trial so you can follow along in these videos. And if you found this video helpful, please click the like button to help me out. Thank you.